how many nuclear weapons do you think india has most of you would say 120 maybe 130 i mean that's what the media says every media outlet says that that india has about 120 nuclear weapons and this is a story we have been hearing for more than a decade 120 120 and the pakistanis have 130 so india is inferior to pakistan in the nuclear weapons count apparently and that's what the western media says it's also what the indian media keeps parroting right so they say that india has 120 nukes pakistan has 130 uh, the french have what the, the british have 250 the french have 300 the chinese have 350 and so on and so forth so india is at the bottom of the table if we don't count israel israel may have 100 but that's obviously not very well known so if you ask anyone and i if i if i tweet on twitter lots of people will come and tell me oh what are you talking about india has these many nukes only 120 so how many nukes does india really have that's what i would like to address and uh, how do we figure out how many nukes india has well let me show you some some rather obscure documents shall i all right let's go there so this is a report uh by an american think tank or organization it's called the non proliferation policy education center and this document is testimony bef- before the us economic and security review commission and this is an old document it's from march 26 2012 and the title of the document is about china china's nukes and fissile materials holdings and blah 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 blah, blah. so it's mainly about china but they also mention india in passing over here so let's go to page number 3 so um where where do they talk about okay it says there is also india as you can see it talks about india there's also india and it says here it states here that india has roughly 1000 bombs worth of separated plutonium it claims can be converted it it claims it can convert into nuclear weapons so this document refers to india having enough material fissile material for 1000 nuclear weapons this is from 2012 so it's a decade old this report is a decade old it says india has a, approximately enough fissile material for a thousand nuclear weapons let's take a look at something else this is a pakistani newspaper the dawn it's uh, it's quite famous very well known this article is from 2015 all right and uh, so what does it say here it says that contrary to international estimates which give a watered down view pakistani assessment is that india has enough fissile material both reactor and weapons grade plutonium for more than 2000 warheads so the pakistani estimate is twice of the estimate from 2012 which was from the us so in 3 years time the estimate has doubled now let's take a look at a more detailed document this is a document uh, from 2017 it's a discussion paper from the harvard kennedy school belfer center for science and international affairs which is a very well known uh, well i don't know what to call it think tank is it or is it a college or whatever it is right so this is a very detailed document 66 pages let's go to page number 60 so this is a table of indian and pakistani fissile material weapon equivalent potential right so let's talk about what it says about india it says india has 0.59 to 0.79 tons of weapons grade plutonium india has 5.5 tons of separated reactor grade plutonium and 11 to 14 tons of unseparated reactor grade plutonium and india has about 3.2 tons of highly enriched uranium 235 so the wep- weapons potential based on these based on this data is that india has enough fissile material for between 2261 to 2686 nuclear weapons whereas the total pakistani potential is 207 nuclear weapons so this my friends gives you a more accurate estimate of the nuclear weapons potential that india has it doesn't mean that india has 2000 or whatever nuclear weapons it means india has enough fissile material plutonium and uranium to build 
up to 2,686 nuclear weapons. This is from 2017. We have nuclear reactors. We generate more fissile material. So if the trend continues like this, we would certainly have more than enough fissile material today in 2022 for more than 3,000 nuclear warheads. Obviously, we will not convert all of that fissile material into nuclear warheads. It's it's pointless to have so many. but we would certainly have more than 120 don't you think we would certainly be able to match whatever china's nuclear warhead count would be of course they have not made it public but we can have a few have a reasonably reasonably accurate guesstimate as to how many nuclear weapons they would have uh the west keeps on saying they have 350 nuclear weapons i would say it would be at least 500 if not 1000 maybe they don't need to have that many but certainly 500 would would be the minimum that the chinese would have and if india has enough fissile material for 3000 nuclear warheads i would ex- expect india would also have about 500 or so warheads as of today so all of this fissile material cannot be used for warheads we need it for other purposes we need it for need it for reactors we need it for uh, nuclear submarines the fuel for that and so on and so forth but we have more than sufficient fissile material for for a lot of nuclear warheads so that is just to put things into the correct perspective whatever you seeing from the media is i don't think it's from the indian media i don't think it's deliberate misinformation they just don't know where to look they have no idea of what's really happening they just they just blindly copy whatever the west is saying oh the bbc said we have 120 so it must be 120 that's the gospel truth because the bbc said it or the cnn said it or the washington post said it our media is a blind copycat they don't do any real research of their own they don't know where to look they don't know how to do the research i'm not so that, that's just how it is so i just showed you three different reports and i'm sure we can dig up many more there are maybe more recent but the more recent ones would be classified they would not be available in the public domain so that's how that's where india stands we have way more nuclear fissile material than just enough for 120 nuclear warheads we have way more than that so from that front india is well covered our nuclear deterrent is uh, strong we can deal with any potential aggressor the only thing is to develop a pro- proper nuclear triad which means to be able to deliver nuclear weapons from in three different ways from land from air and from the sea so we are we have i think now compl- completed the triad because we have uh, nuclear submarines that can remain submerged for a very long time we are developing newer nuclear submarines that would have enhanced capabilities so we are doing well on that front as as well 